The psychopath loves to leave a trail of breadcrumbs for you to find them. This is a part of their manipulation and to keep you going and to keep you strung along with every little trick and trait that they got. Take the Joker from Batman, the perfect ideal psychopath. He always tells Batman where he's going to be, what he's going to do, and he challenges Batman to stop him. This is a classic case of the narcissist who needs to play the game, who lives for the thrill of the game, and lives for the thrill of being caught. <clears throat> Pardon my cough there, of my clearing my throat. I meant to push pause on the recorder, and I thought I pushed pause before I cleared my throat, but obviously I didn't push pause. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to talk about feminism today, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen at the very end of it. And this is going to shock every man out there, because they're going to be feeling so betrayed and manipulated at the end of it. Now, men, you all bow down to your wives. You all buy her stuff on Valentine's Day, and you all pussy pander. You chase the pussy, and you hope that it will love you in return. But you don't see it as a vagina, you see it as an entire woman, but it really does come down to the vagina. Because a narcissist, and a psychopath, and a sociopath has nothing else to offer you other than sex and the vagina. They have no substance, no spirit, no character, and they are chameleons. So they will be any role that you want them to be. Well, I should say any role that they want to be, but usually they put on a charade for you because you love them. So they give you the I love you back charade. Okay, at the end of feminism, when everything comes down to it and all the men are surrounding all the feminists and they got them all circled up, and they got guns to their head and they say, you're going to quit this stuff now or we are going to kill you right now, let me tell you what feminists are going to say back in return. They are going to say that it's men's fault. That men did not put his foot down. So even though when men have gone around for years now putting their foot down and this leads to them losing their woman, this will be the excuse that they are going to use to justify all the behaviors that they have pulled on you in the past. This is the only excuse they'll have left. They will blame men for not putting their foot down. So even though that men put their foot down in the 1950s and so-called oppressed women by not letting them be free, rampant, and wild like little jokers running around everywhere, or men controlled their lady and said, you're not going to do this, and actually some men even put them over their knee and spanked them like little children, they are going to say, men did not put their foot down. They allowed us to do what everything we wanted to do. They allowed us to do whatever we wanted to do. Nobody stopped us. Nobody stopped us. This is going to be their excuse as they're thrown into the paddy wagon and dragged off to the asylum. So men... Let me ask you now, do you really want to invest all your time and all your money into something that's just going to cheat and run away anyways, or hurt you and run away, or lie to your face every single day and then run away? Because your chances of actually finding a good woman that is not a psychopath in these days when commercialism has completely brainwashed them is pretty much zero to none. And I hope you realize this before you go out get a wedding ring, and marry some bra that you thought was great and terrific. See, marriage should actually come on a trial basis. It should be one year of trial basis where men and women get to try it out because women love to be an overt narcissist. This means that they hold everything back until after you get married to them. And when you get married to them, this is when all hell breaks loose because now they know that they got you. They got you. You ain't leaving unless you give up half. They got you. This is a big trick, man, and every man should be aware of what women are doing today. They are seeing you as nothing more than a job opportunity to make money. This is how equal women are to men. Men go out and make money. Women use men to make money. There's your equality. It does not exist. But in the end of feminism, it will all come down to that one sentence. Man did not put his foot down. You see, in the 1970s when the sexual revolution came, you know what really happened? Pandora's box was opened. The men in the 1920s and the 1930s and 40s and 50s and actually all the way back to the beginning of time understood that they have to control their woman or their woman will be out of control. And so they did. Until the lesbian butch women came by and started saying, 
I'm half guy, I'm half man, I don't need to control my woman, so why do men need to control their women? Let them be free, let them be wild, let them be wild, let them be free, you know. Let them go, let them go. So men did. Men gave them feminism and allowed feminism into our world. Don't you understand that? For feminism to even exist, men had to accept it and allow it to be into our world. It was a Trojan horse. I wish men would start understanding this. So every man out there today who is currently married runs more than a 54% chance of his marriage failing if he does not continuously supply her with the cash flow. If he does not pussy pander and give her everything that she wants to have. Where is the respect from the woman to the man in that? Where is it, oh, I love him, so I better not cheat on him. I love him, I can't lose him. Where is this kind of woman nowadays? You don't see them. All you see is women out there using men as job opportunities. Even children, using children as, as job opportunities. I'll take care of this child for 18 years, and it will supply me with an income for 18 years. Even though the income is not based on her, it's based on the child. So we're at an impasse nowadays, men, with MGTOW, and I've seen a lot of people out there even saying the end of MGTOW, and uh, MGTOW has reached its peak, it's, it's, peach. <laughs> it's peak, because men are not taking that next step that has to be taken. What are we going to do about these vaginas now that we know are so bad and evil? What are we going to do? Now that we are awakened and we are no longer falling for the trap, what are we going to do about the women who have tried to put these traps on us and the mentality of women today? Are we going to man up and correct these women? Are we going to let them die off you know, through the centuries and correct the children? What are we going to do to change the society now that feminism has screwed up? And this is why a lot of people are saying on the internet that MGTOW is dead. Because in a way, Mikto is dead. Because we're not taking that next step that needs to be taken. So the question every man should be asking himself now is, do we want to continue with women? Do we feel like dragging them along on our shoulder and on our coattails when they are shitting on us? Or are we now going to start demanding that these women get locked up and these women get help for themselves? Are we going to start demanding that these women change? Because they have been trying to demand for men to change for years. They have been trying to use men. They've been trying to abuse men. And I'm wondering when men are going to actually stand up and say, okay, enough. Finally enough, we have always been the world leader since the beginning of time. You guys have had the last 60 years to try to make something out of your feminism. You have failed miserably. We are not going to give you another chance. We are now taking back over. We are taking the reins back in our control. And now we are going to punish those feminists for screwing men over by the millions in the last 60 years. What are men going to do what is the next step going to be? MGTOW is not dead. MGTOW has only been born. So MGTOW now has to decide what the next step is going to be because all the MGTOWers out there are all saying, yeah, I don't want another woman again in my life. And we all finally figured it out. Okay, you know, MGTOW is now all on the same page. But let's take the next step. We should be taking the next step. The next step is at least 35 years overdue. So let's take the next step. That is changing the laws back to 1950 style where men had the say, where men had most likely chance of winning custody. Men need to start taking everything back now. Now that we realize that feminism has failed, even though we already knew it was going to fail before it even came out, you know, just, just the little previews that we got of it, we knew it was completely insane anyways. But now it's time for men to take his stuff back. Take the world back and start making change to the laws again that equal both parties as equal. Because as long as history is known it, men have always taken care of women, but women do not take care of men. So women should not have say, the dominant say, over taking care of family, taking care of men, taking care of women. They should not have any say in that. Because they have proven over the last 60 years that, I mean, every single female politician that's come by has never cared about men. So they've shown that for the last 60 years, that if you let women loose and let them go, that all they will care about is their own selves and other women. Done. Men need to take stuff back. Men need to start taking the world back. We need to say, okay, we are the dominant ones. We are the leaders. And if you women don't fall in line, you know, you're going to be single and alone the rest of your lives. Which is happening right now. we got an entire world full of single mothers right now. And the men are still pussy pandering. It's ridiculous. I mean, how much proof do you need to have that women are failing at feminism before you men finally stand up as men and take the world back and say, enough of this. We've given you your opportunities. You have failed miserably at it. Now we're taking back 
our world as so that way that we knew it and you are free to join our world or you're free to leave it.